It's December 27th, and here's the latest on what's happening in Israel and Gaza. The hostilities in Gaza continue on today, with Israel's chief of staff stating that the war is likely to go on for several more months. Meanwhile, there is a diplomatic push from the Biden administration to speak with Israeli officials over the next phase of the conflict. This comes after Hamas has rejected multiple ceasefire attempts, including a temporary ceasefire proposed by Israel and a permanent ceasefire proposed by Egypt. Additionally, regional fallout continues in the Middle East. The United States Navy has intercepted a barrage of drones and missiles fired by the Houthis over the Red Sea. The Houthis are a rebel group not aligned with the Yemeni government and are actively supporting Hamas's terrorist operations. And finally, tensions continue to rise between Israel and Hezbollah in southern Lebanon, where a larger scale conflict could potentially break out soon. The Gaza Strip is not Hamas's land, it's the Palestinian people's. If Hamas wants to end this war, it's had ample opportunity. It would lay down its arms, surrender, and give the Palestinian people back their land. Hamas is a terrorist organization, and since 2006, it has had a stranglehold on the Gaza Strip. It has consistently used aid meant for the Palestinian people for its terrorist capabilities. Instead of providing for the Palestinian people in Gaza, it has built an underground network of tunnels where it hides its fighters. If you want the war to end, you must call on Hamas to surrender. If you want the war to end, you must call on Hamas to immediately release the innocent hostages it took from Israel on October 7th. The Palestinian people don't want Hamas. The Israeli people don't want Hamas. The international community does not want Hamas. The only ones who want Hamas in power are other terrorist organizations like Hezbollah and the Iranian government. Hamas is the problem. It had no justification for October 7th, and it must be removed from power.